Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna to do a gentle seated workout. This is similar to the intermediate one that I did when I wasn't talking, but today I'll be talking, I'll be explaining the exercises and we'll go through them. I wanted to offer a similar workout simply because the exercises are really great and, uh, and I want you to be able to benefit from them as well. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with our warm up. So let's just start by moving our arms forward, just stretching the hands forward. And let's do one more, and then we're gonna bring the arms up. So let's do that three more times. And then having one arm up, one arm down, and I just want you to stretch those arms back. So feeling that stretch in your shoulders, in your arms. And one more on each side. Excellent, now let's just rotate the wrists and the other direction. Let's just bring the ear to the shoulder, just gently bringing it down, rolling the head forward over to the other side. Let's go back down again, chin to the chest, over to the other side. And last time back around again. Let's bring one foot up, trying to get the leg as straight as you can when you bring that foot up. And one more on each side. Excellent, now this time when you have the foot up, I just want you to flex that foot, point the toes, flex, point, and rotate that ankle. And the other direction. And let's bring the other leg up, flex and point flex and one more time and rotate the ankle and the other direction excellent all right let's just bring our arms forward we're just going to punch those arms out a little bit and then dropping the arms down to the side bring the arms up forward and down Let's do that two more times. And then bringing the hands to the shoulders, reaching up and down. So now if you can't reach up the whole way, that is totally okay. A lot of people have shoulder issues. Just bring your hands as high as you can. Just work on trying to in increase that range of motion in your shoulders. And let's just do one more. Good, bringing the hands in front and I want you to pull gently back. So this time press a little bit and pull. So still warming up that body. Now let's do two more. Good, now let's bring the hands out to the side and little circles. So just gentle little circles. And then making the circles a little bit bigger. Now going in the other direction. and then making those circles smaller. Good, bringing one foot up. I just want you to bring the foot out a little bit, back in, back in one more time, and bring that foot down to the floor. Other side, bring that foot up, out, and in. Excellent. All right, having the hands up here, we're just gonna bring the hands up and down, and when you bring the hands back, I want you to bring them back as far as you can, and back down. And we're gonna do two more of that one. Excellent. Now let's get into a little bit of cardio, still warming up here, going at a, a fairly slow pace. I just want you to start marching. You can bring your arms into it if you're able to. So just a gentle march here. Taking a nice deep breath in. And breathing out, again, nice deep breath in, and breathing out. All right, let's bring one foot out to the side and the other side. Now, if you can, you can bring your hands into it so you can bring an arm out. Sometimes people find the coordination challenging, so if you find that difficult, you can just bring a leg out instead or challenge your brain a little bit and try and get those hands to go with you or at, go at the same time as the leg going out. 
Okay, now we're gonna bring that heel forward. So just tapping the heel, you can bring your hands forward as well. Remembering to smile. All right, we are ready to get started with our a uh, bit more of cardio. So having one arm up, one arm down, you're going to alternate. So when this hand goes down, the other knee is going up and then you're just switching. Now find the pace that works for you. If this is too fast for you, then just slow it down. It doesn't really matter if you're, if you're going at the same pace as me, you just have to work with what you're able to do. And if all you can do is bring your knees up instead of your arms, that's okay, or just use your arms. Definitely modify the workout to work uh, best for you. Okay, we're just gonna bring our feet kind of up and down, bring our hands around as if we're skipping rope. So just going at whatever pace works for you. So we're doing 30 second intervals here and then we're switching to a different exercise. Next one we're gonna do is like a jumping jack. We're gonna do singles, but if you wanna make it harder, you can bring both arms up at the same time. All right, so one arm, one uh, leg goes out at the same time. And as I said, you can bring both arms up together if you want to make it more challenging. Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. Sitting up straight, back is off that backrest. That way you work your core as well. Okay, we're gonna punch two, three, four, ten times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're gonna do little kicks. One, two, three, four, five, last one, and six. Punch. One, two, three, four. Back to a kick. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, our time's almost up on that one for 30 seconds. So we're just gonna do a bit of a run here. I want you to go at whatever pace works for you for 30 seconds. And if you wanna march instead, that's fine too. Halfway through this one. Three, two, one, excellent. One arm up, one arm down, alternating again. So it doesn't really matter if you have the same arm and the same leg, I've kind of done it wrong here. <laughs> if you can, try to do the opposite hand and the opposite knee. It's not always that easy especially for those of us who are not that coordinated. <laughs> All right, back to skipping rope. So just doing what you can with your feet, you can either kind of march them up and down, or you can uh, just, you can run a little bit faster. So hands are just like you're skipping rope. And 10 more seconds of this one. And then we're back to our single jacks. All right, going out, out. So finding the pace that works for you. All right, on the next one, we're gonna bring our heels forward and we're gonna press forward. So press, press. Picking up that pace if you can, if you can manage it, trying just to go a little bit faster. So when you're doing this one too, think of your abs being tight. Try to tighten up those abs as you're doing this. So breathing out and squeeze your abs. All right, let's go back into a run or a walk, whatever you can manage.
10 more seconds. All right, let's bring the arms to the side and we're going to bring a heel forward and hands go forward. Again, abs are tight as you lean back slightly when your hands come together. And five seconds to go for this one. All right, let's bring a foot back. So you're just tapping a toe back and you're lifting your hands up to the sky. So tapping the toe back, or the toes back. Taking a break when you need to. And five more seconds. Good. And bringing the feet out and in. Now, if this is too hard, this is definitely uh, working in the core. If this is too hard, just bring one foot out. So you're just gonna go out, out, in, in. Okay, so you choose which one works best for you. I'm gonna do this one because it's a little bit more gentle and uh, since this is a gentle class, I think this might be appropriate for most of you. And the more you exercise, if you try and exercise every day, you will get stronger. It doesn't matter what age you are, you will always get stronger. Okay, there is lots of research out there that even 80, 90 year olds um, get stronger by working out. So please just believe that you can because you can. So we're gonna try and work on that to try and build some strength here today. And, uh, and I hope you come back every day to continue to work out to, to get stronger. So we're doing a full minute of this one as it turns out, because I'm talking too much. Let's go back into our run. So we've got three minutes left of our cardio, and then we're gonna do some strength training, which the exercises are a little bit different, so it's not typical strength training. We're gonna be making a little bit more fun, so uh, the time goes by faster. So continuing to run or walk, whatever you can manage. All right, so let's press that heel forward and pushing forward again. Now, if you want to make this a little bit harder, you can really think about pressing. So it's like you're pressing a heavy weight away from you. And you can also pull back. So pull, press, pull, press. Or you can just move your arms back and forth if you feel that's enough of a workout. Two more minutes. All right, let's do this one where we're bringing one arm out, one foot out. So it's just reaching across, bring a toe, our toes out or our foot out to the side a little bit. Five more seconds of this one. Okay, let's bring the, do the one where we're reaching up, toes are going back. And if you find that you don't like this one with your toes going back, it can be a little bit awkward for some people. You can bring your foot forward instead, just tap your heels in front. And 10 more seconds of this one. All right, back to our run. One more minute. So you can move your arms faster if you feel you're able to. My feet are all <laughs> not, in, not going at the same time as my arms. <laughs> Talk about not being coordinated. <laughs> All right, one foot out, one foot out, in, in, out, out, in, in. You can move your arms along in the same way. So follow the leg with your arms to make it a little bit easier. All 
Almost done. Okay, let's pick up our weight. Now, you want a very light weight for this exercise, if any weight at all. Let, I'm gonna get started because we're gonna do 30 second blocks. So hands are here in this position. You're just bringing those hands up, bringing them as far back as you can and back down. So you can see my arms are staying at the side, just rotating up and down. So this is working your rotator cuff, the back of your shoulder in those muscles in there, back, all right, next one, you're leaning forward. We're doing a row and bringing the arms down. So bring them up, squeeze that upper back and down. <sighs> Breathing out as you lift that weight. <sighs> and down. So make sure you're leaning forward. If you're not leaning forward, you're not working your back. You wanna lean forward and do this exercise. Squeeze that upper back as that weight comes up. Squeeze. Squeeze, excellent. Sitting back in your chair, so you're on the edge of your chair, you're leaning back, you're pressing in front and back. So push back. So working the chest here and your arms. Almost done this one. Excellent, let's work those shoulders. Sit back up, bring the arms out to the side, forward and down. Side, forward and down. You got this, keep going. Now during the 30 seconds of the, of the exercise, if all you can do is 20 seconds, that's great. Just do what you can, you work up to the 30 seconds and, uh, and just do what you can, all right? Next one, we are going to squeeze those glutes. I want you to really squeeze, okay? So you're squeezing your bum muscles, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now you're bringing a leg out, keeping that glute squeezed. So out, you're squeezing those glutes. I'm meaning squeezing your bum as tight as you can as you bring a foot out. Okay, we're working the hip here, working our glutes. Out. Keep going, keep squeezing. All right, next one, hands are down at the side. We're lifting one knee as we bring that weight up, switching to the other side. Okay, so you're just alternating knees. If that's too much for you, then just do a bicep curl. Work in the arms here and the legs. Keep going. All right, last one. Excellent. Next one, we are raising those heels and down. Hands are here at the shoulders. So squeezing as you press back, lifting the, the heels and squeeze back. So we're working our triceps here and our calves. So when the hands are going back, you're really squeezing the back of your arms. Okay, next one, we're bringing our hands up, hands are going back and press that weight up. So now you're really concentrating on the triceps, press. Now if you can't get your hands over your head like this, then just do the exercise we did before where you're just pressing the hands back, working those bat arms, trying to make those arms stronger, getting those triceps stronger, pressing up. Okay, bringing that weight down, we are going to do a sit to stand. So sit to stands, as most of you know, if you've been with me, we're just standing up and sitting down. Now, if you can't stand, you're gonna lift your feet instead. Let's go. So some people say this hurts their knees, they have a hard time doing this one. I encourage you to do as many as you can. I've talked to many uh, professionals about this exercise and they said, even if people feel pain in their knees, it is, this is the exercise that is gonna keep your quads strong. It's going to build strength all through your glutes, through your legs. It's gonna build muscle around the knees. You may need to just uh, not do as many as we're doing. We're gonna go for 15 more seconds. 
So go at whatever pace you can, do as many as you can, take a break when you need to, and then try and do another one. And when you're stepping up, you're pressing into those heels. All right, next one we're gonna do is for our abdominals. So we're just going to have our feet flat on the floor. We're pulling to the side or twisting to the side, kind of like you're paddling in a boat. When you're going to the side, you're breathing out. So breathe out as you twist. Okay, next one, opposite hand, opposite knee. So that hand is up, knee is up, down, other side. Now keeping your back off the backrest. Okay, we're working our core here, our abs and our lower back. So you're concentrating on lifting the opposite arm and the opposite knee. All right, sitting on the edge of the chair, leaning back into the chair, you're just lifting a knee and slowly bringing it down to work the abdominals. Okay, so up, slowly bringing it back down. So you should be tight here. Concentrate on tightening those abs. Okay, last one. Okay, sitting up. Now I want you to, to squeeze your glutes. Okay, squeeze your bum muscles. Lean back and hold. Squeeze those glutes. So tighten, tighten, tighten. Now sit up straight, squeeze the glutes again. Hold. Keep squeezing. Now lean forward and squeeze your glutes again. You'll feel that change in the muscles. Now I'm feeling it more in, my, in the outer part of my glutes. It really changes it, so, and it's a really good one. relax those glutes. Let's just bring uh, one foot up, hold that for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and down other side. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. One more time on each side. Five. Try and get that leg as straight as you can. And down other side. Three, two, one. All right, that was, that was pretty much it for our cardio and our strength training for today. We are just going to finish with stretching, which is super important. So I hope you stick around for the stretching. Okay, let's bring our hands forward. We're just gonna press the hands forward. Now I want you to feel that in your upper back. If you're not feeling that, you're not pressing your hands far enough. So press the hands forward, taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Nice, let's bring the shoulders back. Now we're gonna do a bit of an exercise. It's not so much stretching, but I just, as we're doing that, I'm thinking of our shoulders and how we're often hunched forward. I want you to get those shoulders back. Let's just do one exercise where we're bringing the elbows here. Now I want you to bring the elbows back and pinch those elbows back as if you're squeezing a water bottle in your shoulder blades. So squeeze, three, two, one, relax. And let's do that again. Squeeze those elbows back. Three, two, one, relax. And we're gonna do that one more time. Squeeze, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, shoulders back again. Let's bring the hands together. Just pull the arms back to feel that in your chest. You wanna feel that all through here. You're gonna feel that in your arms as well. So pull those arms back. Excellent, bringing one arm overhead, reaching as high as you can to the ceiling. So really reaching up. And then having your feet a little like shoulder width apart, you're just gonna lean, holding onto the side of your chair. You're just leaning to really feel a nice stretch down your side here and through your arm. Excellent, bringing that arm down, reaching the other arm up as high as you can up to the ceiling, feeling that all through your arm. And then just leaning gently to the side. Excellent. 
Excellent. Bring one arm in front, crossing that arm in front of the body, pulling that arm in for a shoulder stretch. So you should feel this in the shoulder that's uh, being stretched in front. And bring that arm down, other arm comes up, bring it across and pull that arm in. Excellent, bring one arm up overhead, drop the hand behind and just press that elbow back. I can definitely feel that in my triceps. I worked my triceps yesterday and it's amazing how much you can feel the stretch after they've been worked hard. And bring that arm down, other arm goes up, drop the hand behind, press that elbow back a little bit. Excellent. So now some of the best stretches, we are going to bring one leg in front. Now you have to sit on the edge of the chair because you need to get your leg as straight as you can. If you're sitting back in your chair, your leg can't straighten and you're not going to get the stretch in your leg like you need to. So sit out on the edge of your chair if you can. Try and bring that leg down. Now if you can't and if you're, in, if you're um, in a wheelchair and you can't, your other option is to bring that leg up and I want you to flex your foot and hold and then point your toes and hold. Okay, for those who can sit on the edge, we're gonna sit there, leg is straight, other leg is bent, and you're just leaning forward and putting your weight on the bent leg. Holding that stretch. You should feel the stretch all around your knee as well. Taking a nice deep breath in, and breathing out. All right, let's come up. Let's switch to the other side. Foot is as straight as you can make it, leaning down. So with the other leg, it's at 90 degrees. Try and have that the ankle underneath the knee. Sometimes I see people stretching like this. Try to get that foot underneath the, the knee. Taking a moment to think of something that you're thankful for, whether it was today or another day recently. And let's come up. Let's bring the ankle up onto the knee. Now, if you're not able to do this one, that's okay. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna cross your legs instead. And uh, if you can't do that, you can cross your ankles and you're just gonna lean forward, okay? So you could do this. Lean forward, you will feel that stretch in your lower back. The um, stretch where you'll feel it the most is when your ankle is up on your knee. And then you're just gonna lean forward, keeping your back flat as much as you can, leaning forward, feeling that stretch all through here, all through your hip and in your glutes and in your lower back. So holding that stretch, again, focusing on those things that you're thankful for. Often we tend to think of the negative things and it's best to take some time and just think of the positive things in our lives as well. Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. If you can, go a little bit deeper into the stretch. You don't need to, of course, and it should never cause any pain. It should feel really nice. It should be a, just a really good stretch. Gazing down at the floor in front. And coming out of that stretch, let's switch to the other side. So ankle up onto the knee if you're able to. Leaning forward. Taking a deep breath in. And breathing out. And if you can, go a little bit deeper into the stretch. Sitting up. Let's just do a few neck stretches and then we're all done. Let's just drop the ear down to the shoulder. You can close your eyes if you wish. Relax into that stretch. If you want to intensify the stretch at all, you can just press the hand out to the side. So a hand goes opposite way of the way it 
the way that you have your head um, drop to the side. And looking straight in front, dropping your ear down to the other side. Same thing, if you wish to intensify it a bit, you can bring that hand down. And if you want to just totally relax, you can relax that arm and just have the ear to the shoulder. And then looking in front, just uh, looking gently up to the ceiling. And then bringing your gaze down so you're looking down at your lap and hold that stretch so you feel a nice stretch through the back of your neck. And looking in front again, just looking over your shoulder. And then over the other shoulder. This is always a good one to do because if you're still driving, it's always good to be able to look over your shoulder and uh, have that flexibility in the neck. Last time to the other side. Looking straight in front, let's just finish, finish with our three deep breaths, taking a deep breath and bringing the arms overhead. And big breath out. Let's do that two more times. Deep breath in. And breathing out. Last one. And breathing out. And that is it for today. Thank you everyone for joining me and uh, have a wonderful day.